Hey y'all, it's Scorpio season. And with Scorpio season comes Halloween. And how could it be Halloween if we don't do something a little spooky? So many reasons where I never do my love. Now you are one to retire with my love. See what did you cook with this? So for today, I want to try something a little different. So some of you have seen my angel number hats and some of my word hats with a drop shadow effect. Like this one, right? So I wanted to do a spooky hat with this effect um, just to try out something new. So um, I would like to say, quick disclaimer, the recipe is only as good as the chef behind it. So this is how I graft up the spooky, but I won't be following this exact patterning. But for the sake of the letters used in spooky, if you wanted to use this as a basis for any of the other hats or other projects that you're working on, um, this will be a great start. But this video will be more so of a crochet along so if you wanted to get any like specific detailing on how to switch out the colors um, and spacing and things like that, that would more so be in my 333 bucket hat tutorial, which I already have posted as well as my letter A tutorial. But for the sake of this video, it'll be more so a crochet along. Um, but if you do need help with any of these letters, they will be in this video, so you'll at least see the how the graphing works for it. Um, but this one is, is going to be a little different. So, come on. Let's get spooky. So, to start our spooky hat, you see that we have already graphed up the letters for spooky. For materials, we are going to use a five millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, stitch marker. We have black four way acrylic loop and threads. We have a burnt orange from red heart and we have bright yellow from red heart i've already done all of my increase rows to start off my bucket hat um i did six rows of increases if you want to know how to increase on your hats or how to start the increases. I do have a bucket hat tutorial already out as well as my 333 bucket hat tutorial that also goes into depth about how I do my increases for the hat. So to start off our first round of letters for our spooky, I want to figure out where is the middle point of our round. So including this chain up three there will be 67 stitches going around so my middle point will be the 34th stitch so i'm just gonna count till i get to 34 and then i'm gonna add my stitch marker to that middle going to put our stitch marker in the 34th stitch and that is going to be our middle so okay so i've chained up my three and i need 55 spaces for the word spooky and then i have 11 blank spaces so i'm going to start off with six black 
double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, then to start off my S I need two blank spaces and that is going to be for the first part of our shadow and the first part of our S so I'm going to put two more black double crochets and then we're going to start the shadowing for our first round so for this first row, we're going to be going in this direction from S to Y. So I'm going to introduce my yellow. The yellow is going to be for my shadow and I'm going to use the orange for the main color of the letters. So I'm just going to do one yellow double crochet. Then I'm going to introduce my orange and I'm going to do two orange double crochets and I'm going to tuck all of these strands behind. Well, actually, I'm going to do three double crochets for the middle. Then I'll bring the black up to finish off the outside of our S for two double crochets. Then I'm gonna have one spacing in between our S and our P and start the P with our yellow crochet, yellow double crochet. And then I'm going to do five orange. Two, three, four, five. Then I need two double crochets for the outside of our P, one for the spacing, and then two for the outside of our O. Yellow for our shadow. So one yellow, and then I'm going to do three orange for the middle of our O. Two, three, and then I'm going to do two black for the outside of our O. And one for the spacing in between our two O's. Then we're going to do another two black for the outside of the second O. Pull up our yellow. Do one yellow double crochet and then we will do three orange. And then we're going to introduce the black again for the outside of our O. So 
So for two double crochets, then we have one double crochet for our spacing in between the O and the K. Gonna introduce our yellow for the outside of our K. So one yellow double crochet. And then we'll do two orange. And then we're going to do three black for the inside of our K. One, two, three. Introduce the yellow again for the outside of our K. Gonna do one. And then two orange double crochets. One black for our spacing. And then we're gonna pull up the yellow for the outside of our Y. And two orange. And then gonna pull up our black for the middle of our Y and do three double crochets for our middle. Pull up the yellow for the outside of our Y. One yellow and then two orange to complete the first round of our Y. One, two, and then we're gonna switch out for the black. We're going to tuck our orange and yellow for one black double crochet, and then we're just gonna finish off this round with our black double crochets. And we're just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three that we made at the beginning of our round. Chain up three and turn our work. And that completes round one of our letters. Okay. And now for round two, we're going to go this way from Y to S. So now we've got into round two. And I'm just going to add my double crochets in black. One, two, three, four, until we get to the orange. And as you can see, for the first three rows of the Y are repeat rows. So we're basically going to do row one, but reverse for our second round. So I'm going to pull up my orange. We're going to tuck the black and yellow and hit two orange double crochets. And one yellow. Two 
three black, one, two, three, two orange, One yellow, and then we're gonna add one black for our spacing for the wire. And now for the K, as we can see that we're bringing it in, so I'm just gonna add one more black double crochet to create this effect right here of the cake coming in so i have the one black for the spacing and then one to start the k and then we're just gonna go with our two orange double crochets one yellow And then two black double crochets. Two orange. One yellow. Then I'm going to add the black for our spacing between the K and the O here. And now we're adding the outsides of our O to create the arch for the top of the O. So we're going to do two orange. One yellow. We're going to do two black for the inside of our O. And then we're going to do two orange. For the outside, one yellow, and then we're going to add one black for our spacing in between the two O's and just repeat exactly what we did for the first O for the second one. So we're gonna do two orange. One. Yellow Two black Two orange And then one yellow for the outside.
and then black for the spacing in between the O and the P. And then we're going to hit two orange. One yellow. Two black for the inside of our P. And then two orange for the outside. And finish off with the yellow for the outside of the P. And then we are going to Add our black for our spacing between the P and the S. We're going to do two orange for the outside of our S. One, two. Add our yellow. And then we're gonna do two orange, two black for the inside of our S. Then we're going to do two orange for the outside of our S. And then the yellow for the outside shadow of the S. And we're gonna add our black, tucking our yellow and orange under this first black double crochet, dropping it forward, and then just finishing this round with black double crochets. Three, four, five, Six. And then we're just going to slip stitch in the top of our chain up three that we started this round with. Chain up three and turn our work and this is starting to build up our letters and we have completed round two of our spooky so for round three um the S is only going to have the first outer part of the S. The P is going to repeat row two, as well as both O's are going to repeat round two. Round three of the K is going to come in a little more to define that point on the outside. And round three of the Y is also going to match round two and round one. We're going to be working from the S to the Y for round three.
So we've chained our three, turned our work, and gonna go ahead and start off the round with our black double crochets. until we get to our yellow. And we're gonna do one yellow double crochet, tucking our black and orange. So we do one yellow Add the orange for two double crochets. And then we're gonna finish off our S with the color black. So we're gonna do six double crochets. One, two, three, four. Five, and the sixth double crochet will be our spacing between the S and the P. And we're gonna go ahead and add our yellow double crochet for one stitch. We're gonna do two orange. Two black, one yellow, two orange. One black for our spacing between the P and the O. And then we're going to do two orange. Two black, one yellow, two orange. One black, one yellow, two orange, one black. Well, two black, one yellow, two orange, One black for our spacing between the O and the K. And then we're going to do one yellow. Two 
go orange. Now we're going to do one black. One yellow, because we're building out that K. Two orange. Ooh. Two orange, three black, one yellow. Now for the Y. orange three black one yellow Two orange, and then I am adding the black for the rest of this round, tucking the orange and the yellow in the first double crochet, dropping them forward or well behind. And then one, two, three more double crochets and just gonna slip stitch into that chain three that we made in the beginning of the round. Chain three and turn my work. And that is round three of our letters. So you see my S, P, two O's, my K, and Y. So... Now we've completed round three, so now it's time to do round four. And we're going to go the opposite way now, working from the Y to the S. And as you can see, this fourth row right here is what's going to start to round out our letters. Um, we're going to bring in the middle of that Y, the middle of the K. The O is going to repeat. Both O's are going to repeat for five rounds. So from two to six, this is, so we have a middle point, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from two to six, the O's are going to repeat all the way down and then round one and round seven repeat. And then the P, we bring in that middle for the fourth round. And S, we bring in that middle for the fourth round.
so we're going to do four black double crochets until we get to our Y. Two, three. Four. And now for the Y, we're going to cover that black space with the orange and yellow at the ends. So we're going to bring that orange up. And we're just gonna go ahead and double crochet six orange double crochets so two three four five six Then we're going to add our yellow double crochet for the outside, just one yellow. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six black double crochets. One, two, which completes our Y, three for our spacing, and then four, five, six to start off our K. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four, five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to add one yellow to our outside of the K. One black for our spacing between the K and the O. Then we're going to do two orange. one yellow two black for the middle of our o two orange One yellow, one black for our spacing in between the two O's, two orange. One yellow, two 
black for the middle of our second O. So orange. One yellow. One black for our spacing between the O and the P. And then we're gonna add two more black to start our P. And then we're gonna do five oranges. One, two, three, four, five, and then one yellow for the outside of our P. Then we got One black for our spacing. And then two more black to start our S. Bring it to the middle. And then we're going to do three oranges. one yellow for the outside of our S, two more black double crochets to finish off our S. I'm gonna drop that yellow and orange and finish off this round with our black double crochets. So that's two. Three, four, five, six. And then we're just gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain three we created. Chain up three, turn our work, and this is after four rounds of our letters. So you see why the K is coming in. We have our O's building up, the P is rounded out, and our S has its curve. So now we're working round five, and that is gonna go from S to Y. So now we're gonna build on the outside of the S. Round five, six, and seven of P are just gonna be the outside of the P now. And then we have our O's continuing round five. And then round five of the K, we're starting to build back out on the lower part of the K. And then we're just going to have the outside of the Y for round five.
Okay, so I've chained up my three. And I'm going to work black double crochets all the way till I get to the orange of my S. So now I'm at this last orange double crochet. I'm going to add a yellow one above that. And then I'm going to add two orange double crochets. And this is going to be the outer part of my S. gonna do one black double crochet which is our spacing between the S and the P gonna bring up the yellow for our shadow of the P then we're gonna do two orange double crochets And we're just going to finish off the P with black double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And then our sixth double crochet will be the spacing between the P and the O. Reintroduce the yellow for our shadow of the O. Then we're going to have our two orange double crochets. Two black, one yellow, two orange. One black, one yellow, two orange. Two black, one yellow, two orange. One black, and our O's are done, so that's the space. And starting our K, gonna pull up our orange, uh, 
yellow double crochet. Two orange. One black. One black. One orange. One yellow. Two orange, and then we're going to add our black all the way till we get to the outside of our Y. So we're going to do one, two three to finish our K and our spacing then one two three To start off our Y, I'm gonna introduce the yellow again for one double crochet and then two orange. And then finish this round off with a black. Tucking our orange and yellow behind the first double crochet. And then finishing off the round with a black double crochet. It should be four of them. And then we just slip stitch into the top of our chain three that we created in the beginning of the round. Chain up three, turn our work, and that is round five completed. of our spooky so we have our s coming together our p our two o's our k is starting to build out again and we have our y coming down so we're on round six of our spooky. So we're going to be working from the Y to the S now that we've turned our work. So now we have the two outsides of our Y, our K building out more here at the bottom. This is the last repeat round for our O's. Our P is still coming down straight on the outside. And we are building the outside of our S to create the bottom arch of our S. So 
we have our chain three turned our work four double crochets to start this round And we're going to do two oranges. One yellow. And this sixth round is also repeating three, two, and one round of our Y. So we're going to do three black for the middle of our Y. Two, three, two oranges. And one yellow for our outside. We have a black double crochet for our spacing between the Y and the K. And one more black to start our K. Then we're going to do two orange double crochets. One yellow. Two black. to orange one yellow and we have one black for our spacing in between the K and the O and we're doing two orange. One yellow. Two black. to orange, one yellow, one black for the spacing in between the two O's. Two orange, one 
one yellow. Two black. Two orange. One yellow. One black for our spacing between the O and the P. And then one, two, three, four, five black to start off our P. We have two orange double crochets. One yellow. Our outside shadow of the P. One black for our spacing in between the P and the S. And then two orange to start off the outside of our S. One yellow. Two black for the inside of our S. And then we have two orange for the outside of our S. And one yellow. For the outside shadow of our S, I'm going to take the black and tuck our yellow and orange under that next double crochet. Then we're just going to finish off this round with black double crochets. Should be five of them. And then we're just going to slip stitch into the top of our three. Chain up three that we did in the beginning. And then chain up three and turn our work. And that completes round six of our spooky. So we have our S, P, our two O's, our K, and our Y. So we are done with the first six rounds of our spooky, finally on our seventh round so we will be going from s to y to finish off our spooky and here we're just rounding out the bottom of our s repeating our last two rounds of p to end that off 
round seven for our O's is going to match round one, rounding out our O's at the bottom. And then our K is going to be brought back out to where we started in the first round as well. And then our Y is going to round out here at the bottom where we're just filling in the middle of our Y. So we've chained up our three. Chained our three, turned our work. And we're going to double crochet with our black. until we get to the middle of our S. So two, three, four, five, six. Tucking back our orange and yellow. We're gonna do that for the first two stitches of our S with the black, introduce the yellow again for one double crochet. Then we're gonna do three orange. Gonna introduce the black to finish off the S for two double crochets and then one double crochet for our spacing. Introduce the yellow to start our P for one double crochet. Then we're going to do two orange double crochets. And then we're just going to finish off the P spacing with all black double crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, six double crochets, including our spacing between the P and the O. And then we're gonna do two black double crochets to start our O. One yellow. For our shadowing and three orange one two three And then again, five double crochets to finish off our O, create our spacing and start off the second O. And that's five. Gonna reintroduce the yellow for our outside shadowing. So we have one yellow, three orange for the middle of our second O. Then we're gonna add two black double crochets to finish the second O and then a third for our spacing between the O and the K. Gonna add that 
the yellow in for our shadow for the K on the outside. Two orange double crochets. And then we're gonna do three black for the middle of our K. One yellow. And two orange. To finish off our K, bring in our black for the spacing between the K and the Y. And then we're going to do two black double crochets to start off the Y. Pull up the yellow for our shadowing. And then three orange double crochets. For the middle of our Y. Actually, I'm going to add a fourth one. So four orange double crochets for the middle of our Y. I'm just going to finish off the Y with two black double crochets, tucking the yellow and the orange. Then I'm going to drop the yellow and orange and just finish off that round with the black double crochets. It should be four of them. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three that we made in the beginning of the round. chain up three turn our work and we have finished all seven rounds of our spooky yeah so we have our s p our two o's K and Y. So now that we finished our letters, I'm gonna snip off our yellow and orange. And we're gonna save the yellow and orange for later. And for this, we're gonna work on a wavy brim. So, I chained up my three, turned my work, and in every double crochet going around, I'm gonna add two double crochets her stitch and I'm going to tuck my loose yellow and orange strings within this round so we get here just pull up my yellow and orange, 
and just go ahead and tuck that in. And we're going to do this all the way till we reach the end of this round. So I finished my first round of my wavy brim. So for the second round, I'm going to repeat the same thing I did for the first round and put two double crochets in every single stitch in the second round. And I'm going to do that all the way around until I get to the end. So I'm at the end of the second round of my brim. I'm going to snip off my black. Going to bring the yellow back in and create a magic knot at the end. So I'm going to just take out that last double crochet so I have my measurement right and create a magic knot here at the end to connect the two colors. Re-add my last double crochet. And I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of my chain three I started for the round. And then I'm just going to chain up two. And then I'm just going to add one half double crochet in every stitch going all the way around till I reach the end of this round. So I got to my last half double crochet. I'm gonna snip off my yellow and connect my orange with a magic knot. And this is gonna be the last round of my wavy brim. And put back my last half double crochet. We're just going to slip stitch on top of that chain two we made in the beginning. Chain up two again. And then we're just going to half double crochet in every stitch going around with the orange. And we're going to do that all the way till we get to the end of this round.
So we're just gonna go ahead and slip stitch in the top of that chain two, chain one, snip off our yarn. And we're just gonna weave in this end. And that completes our wavy brim. Just gonna straighten that out. And our spooky hat is complete. Okay, guys, here is our spooky hat. All finished. I hope you guys took some things away from this tutorial. And I hope your mix come out just as spooky or even spookier. So with that, happy spooky season, happy Scorpio season, and happy Halloween. Bye.